Over the month of March, I created a blender model every single day under the theme of Medieval Tavern. In this video, I'm going to show a sped up version of me creating the tavern and putting all the models inside of it, while also giving some commentary about the models, new things I learned, how I made them, you know, stuff like that. The first thing I did was I created some planks that would be used as the floor. I used the array modifier to create four of them that could then be placed together. I then slightly rotated sections of it to give it kind of an uneven feel because if you look at wood, it isn't always flat and even. I then added some marks and cuts to the wood to then kind of give it more an interesting look. And then I just copy and pasted them over and flipped a few of them, grabbed a couple random tiles and just flipped them over to make the pattern a bit more different along the entire thing put a plane underneath it this plane would just be to make it darker so when you look through it you don't just see the skybox the first model i made was a chair on the second i made a table i'm quite happy with how the chairs and tables look when they're put together third i made some barrels i get i made it so that we had a closed barrel and an open barrel on the fourth i made some crates i really like making crates they're very quick and simple to make then on the fifth i made some tankards i just used one face to serve as the liquid inside of the, of the tankard made some bar stools i was quite happy with the bar stools came out with the uh putting the mesh through itself and then adding the gray to the top of it i think that came out quite nice for the candle i didn't actually know how to make a fiery kind of particle effect so i watched the blender tutorial video which is on screen now i used a lot of the things they show in that video for pretty much all the fire I made. I then just started sticking stuff into collections so it's a lot easier to manage. On the 10th I made some bottles that would go onto the back of the bar, placing them somewhat randomly and then starting to rotate them to make it a bit more interesting to look at. But because I've made all the bottles so circular it doesn't really matter if I rotate some of them. The tall yellow ones when I rotate them it looks different but not so much for the red, the purple and the green. The first character I made was a little low poly bartender. Although the characters I made came out all right I think I need to use more faces on them. I adjusted the floor because I felt like the planks were too big. So I just scaled it down a quarter size and then created another four of those squares. I played around with the idea of just copy and pasting that for the roof, but I didn't stick with that in the end. The cooking pot was based off the little pots that you find in Kingdom Come Deliverance, which has the perpetual stew in them. That was a kind of stew that was always kept hot and then you just add stuff to it, add water to it, add vegetables to it throughout the day and then members of the village would come and eat this perpetual stew, which would just keep going for years from what I understand. On the 15th, I made a birthday cake because it was my birthday. The loot was a bit hard to create because I couldn't really get the shape correct for it. And so in the end, I would just used a plane and kind of created the shape with that. But it, the loot came out kind of spiky in places and the strings looked really thick to me. The second character I made, a bard, was more or less inspired by the fact that I'd made a loot. There's no point having a loot if you've got no one to play it, you know what I mean? I'm quite happy with how the bard came out. I like the little feather in his hair. Although I was also having, again, the same problems. I think I need to use more polygons when creating characters. I think, I think I'm think i trying to be too low poly. The bear head is uh, quite funny. Originally, it was meant to be a deer head. And while I was making it, it ended up looking more like an aardvark head. So I decided to push, kind of push the nose in and make it look like a bear. And at one point it had teeth and eyes, but that looked terrifying. On the 22nd, I made this lantern where I had to learn how to kind of create glass. In order to do that, I followed Ryan Kingart's video on realistic glass shaders in Blender. That's on the screen somewhere now. And then just kind of changed it up how I needed to. And I think my glass came out quite well. I then made a road character. I wanted them to look kind of sneaky. The bag of gold, I really, I actually really enjoyed making the uh, little tokens in that. I used the knife tool to cut, cut around them. On the 26th, I created a door which was made out of multiple uh, planks of wood and then connected together by the metal barring that goes across the middle. On the 27th, I made this window alcove, which I enjoyed making the little uh, slope and the tree outside. I think that adds a little bit of detail to it. On the 28th, I made a warrior. Uh, fun, fun fact, I was actually on a train when I made that warrior. I made him on my laptop. On the 31st, the last model I made was a bounty board, as you can see here. In an actual game, I think where the monkey head is would actually be a bit of paper that had a bit of text on it and that would serve as some kind of mission hub or something. For the walls, I just took the planks that are on the floor, copied them, rotated them, shrunk them down a bit and then doubled them up. And then after I'd finished copying and pasting them all around the, the tavern as the walls, I created the small cube which would serve to be a kind of cream colour. In my head was like um, pubs from England and stuff like that that I've been to. After I'd finished that, I wanted to put some beams in. Now I realized halfway through doing this, I probably could have saved myself a lot of time just using the array modifier. Because with the array modifier, you can just make one thing and it duplicates it across. 
I'm grabbing all the bottom edges and then I'm beveling them and then extending the faces out. Could have just done that with one and then had the array modifier take care of the rest of the work for me. It also would have made this easier where I had to create uh, loop cuts in all of them and then connect them up individually. I would have only had to do that once. And with the door, I grabbed parts of the cream wall and I modeled around the door, connecting them up for the final one. After I obviously cut off the parts of the wall I didn't need because you wouldn't have some planks behind the door, you wouldn't be able to go through the door. I then adjusted the floor to make sure the floor was nice and actually covering everything it's supposed to. And then it was just about adjusting stuff in the room, like the bear head, actually mounting it on the wall and moving stuff like the fireplace, putting that back, putting that against the wall. I wanted to put the keg somewhere near the bartender, but I couldn't really fit it on the bar. I didn't want to make it smaller. So I just copy and pasted another one of the tables and then set up two of the kegs next to each other. I think it looks quite cool. Added some more chairs because it didn't really make sense. There only being four chairs around a single table. I threw one of the chairs on the side because while I was making this, I was kind of thinking up a scenario in my head, which is why the rogue and the warrior are having a little fight. Afterwards, I wanted to create the roof. So I just grabbed the beams deleted all the bottom half of them and then just put them across the roof like this. After that I grabbed a floorboard and then I extended it out, made it longer and stuck them in between each of the beams. After the ceiling was kind of in place I put one more beam directly down the middle. At this point I'm just going through and I'm editing all the particle effects and adding lights to them because it doesn't look right if the fire isn't actually producing some kind of light. I was going through my face orientation which is the way the faces are facing. If they're red then you won't be able to see them when they're actually rendered and if they're blue then you will be able to see them when you're rendered. You want the blue on the outside of your mesh and the red on the inside of your mesh. Unfortunately with the loot and a few of the other things I modeled face orientation wasn't correct If you have an item that has a face orientation that isn't correct You can go to you can select the item mesh shading recalculate outside or recalculate inside that normally works with most of the things that I make but with the loot which I kind of had a funny way of making with planes it was displaying one half of the loot correctly and the other half not and every time you flipped it it was just flipping those two sides so then I had to grab the, all the faces individually and go to the mesh shader drop down and flip them so now all the UVs are facing the right way I created a short animation where the camera is going to look around the tavern so here is that video If you want more game dev content, please subscribe, or you can check out my video recreating Pong which is somewhere on the screen now, or if you want more Blender models you can watch all my shorts, uh, there's a playlist also on screen now. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you have a great day.